What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are getting our fitness on in this like adult playground thing here uh, in the middle of Pickering because we are about to head later today to a town that is nearby called Malton which is still in North Yorkshire where we are going to be taking on our very first bug is on me. <laughs> our very first ever mixed grill challenge at a place called the Wentworth Arms. Now, I'm really excited for this. I have seen, again, the man, the myth, the legend, Adam, Beard Meets Food, who it seems like we just keep uh, following in his footsteps around here, taking on challenges he has done. But anyways, we know it looks delicious, as the old Beardy Beard has made it look exceptional on camera. But anyways, we will catch you guys after we have finished our fitness endeavors. Look at, look at Randy. Well, uh, Blake's are freaking burning. Oh yeah, yeah. This is, it's a fitness specimen back there and I'm about to do the exact same thing, but we will catch you guys at the Wentworth Arms when the Mixed Grill Challenge arrives. We have arrived at the Wentworth Arms. What's in store for us through this beautiful floral wall? Mixed grill, and that does look delightful. All right, Kilo Crew. So the massive mega mix grill challenge has arrived here in front of me at Wentworth Arms, and there's actually so much on here. I'm gonna go ahead and let the lovely owner here, Elaine, tell you guys all about the rolls and all about what is on this platter. Okay, so we don't have many rolls. The only rules are you have to eat everything on the plate, not on the sauces only on this plate. So today we're trying to beat Kyle versus food at 21 minutes, 46 seconds. Ooh, okay. Which I think we're gonna do. That's the goal. Okay, so today we've got bacon and cheddar burger. We've got black pudding, steak, mushrooms, peas, tomato, egg, fried chicken, chicken, lamb chops, gammon. Is that all? <laughs> sausage, black pudding. Oh, all the things Chips, I love. onion rings. Ooh. I don't think I've missed anything out. I don't think so. If we forgot pineapple. anything. Oh, that's right. There is pineapple. pineapple. This is my first time trying gammon, so I'm very excited about that. But this is really my first ever mixed grill. So if you get to the top of the leaderboard, which is beating Kyle today, everything is free today. Okay. But if you don't beat him, but you finish it, you get a free dessert anyway. Ooh. So you're getting dessert anyway. I'm all about that. I saw that there's sticky toffee pudding on the menu. All right, that all sounds really lovely and doable. As usual, Kilo Crew, there are lots of people here and a big thank you to the Wentworth Arm staff for having Randy and I in today to uh, take this big old challenge on. As usual, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. Yeah. 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 Let's be the first girl on the wall of fame. All right, y'all, so really, there's a, this is a one sitting time limit, which is a lot of fun, uh, but I really want to beat that 2146 because I want the meal for free and I would love me some sticky toffee pudding. So without further delay, one, two, three, let's eat us some mega mix grill. Woo! Let's start with the sausage. Mmm. That's good sausage. No worries, this video is full of articulate statements. <laughs> it's like breakfast meets dinner. You don't say, which is uh, precisely what Mixed Grill is. It's like a beautiful blend of bar food meets breakfast, basically traditional pub fare, and it's all uh, combined together in a conglomerate of glory. Now that the sausages are down, let's go for some health. And funnily enough, I started this trip out really kind of not liking the grilled or uh, roasted tomatoes, but they're kind of growing on me. This one was sweet and juicy. Let's do some uh, fried chicken. Ooh, nice. These were surprisingly nice as well. Basically a grown up version of a chicken finger. They know me well, they give me plenty of ketchup. I thought it was rather generous of them. They give challengers of the mixed grill, should be called actually the Big Daddy Mixed Grill, they give uh, a standard array of condiments and um, I, I wasn't mad about it at all. Now I think this is the lamb chop? Yeah. Okay, this is a lamb chop. I don't know enough about my meats, but let's give this a try. Ooh, yummy. It's like a kebab without the kebab. Yeah, another articulate statement from me there. The most I know about Lamb Chop is that it was one of my favorite puppets on the Sherry Lewis show, if anyone remembers that. Oh. Chicken. Descriptive once again, and much like the pork chops, there were two breasts of grilled chicken on the platter. Is it good? Mm-hmm. 
This is delicious. That was once again the voice of Elaine, who was very eager to have perhaps her first ever female winner. Chicken is great. Let's do this last egg with our hands here. And unlike Lady Wentworth, I didn't have much time for utensils. And on to black pudding, which these are pretty sizable. Ooh. I think those were some of the biggest black puddings I have encountered so far on this trip. And uh, luckily they were delicious because they were clearly the size of hockey pucks. I love black pudding. I will never regret this long-standing love affair that I have had with black pudding so far on this trip. I will be very, very sad when this uh, UK tour comes to an end. All right, steak time, which I don't typically eat steak with my hands, but for the sake of time, let's just be animals. We already started this way. Eight ounces of rump steak, which yes, I typically would not eat with my hands, but you guys asked for it in some of my 72 ounce steak videos, so here you go. I asked for a medium rare and it's perfectly medium rare. Yeah, this is great. Mm. Your hubby knows how to cook. You're a lucky lady. Mm. On to the gammon and pineapple. Elaine was very strictly against calling it gammon ham and ham gammon. Apparently one is served cold and the other warm. Does it taste like ham? Mm -hmm. We're talking to it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes just like our holiday ham at home. I'm not actually convinced that there is any difference. I believe it's all just, you know, cultural vernacular. Let's do a pineapple chaser. Match made in heaven. Exactly. Much like on pizza, pineapple and ham belong together, which reminds me I had forgotten to add mint sauce to the pork chops, which was one of the condiments on the side, so never got to try it. So if you enjoy it, leave a comment below. All right, let's take care of some of these peas now. Just get some health in there. <laughs> I enjoy peas. I don't think that peas would make Emily Post's list of uh, acceptable finger foods. I'm such a lady. Do you both? Do. I do. She does it all. <laughs> hey, I think burping is one of my many very, very endearing qualities. It's efficient, you gotta admit. So if you want to finish your vegetables and go outside and play, this is how you do it. I am not the person that children should be taking advice from on manners. All right, that's it for the peas. All right, apparently this burger is like a showstopper, so let's uh, work on this little bad boy here. I say little bad boy. Look at the bap this thing is on. It's quite the bap. Apparently this right here is the game ender for most people who try this challenge. This is great. I need a little mayo. Hey, if you're going to eat yourself a bacon cheeseburger, why not add some more heart-stopping mayo to the equation? But yeah, it was actually a very delicious burger, and I thought the uh, the bap was lovely and soft, and it went down easy. Have you full up yet? Uh, no. Could use a good burp, though, for eating fast, but that's all right. Come on, then. We need to do it fast. Mm -hmm. Might shake the walls at this point. The, uh, pressure was building, if I recall correctly, and it wasn't, uh, pressure due to time, if you catch my drift. Final bit of the burger, and then it's on to, uh, the last veggies on the tray here, which sounds so healthy. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Boom, skis. Ooh, there's a bunch of cheese in here. That's joyous. There we go. All right, let's do some chips. Oh, those are great. I do not often look at chips and say, this is great. So that is a testament to how much love was put into this mixed grill by the Wentworth family. I'm actually really enjoying the barbecue sauce with them. I don't know why on this trip, ketchup has taken a back seat to all the other uh, condiments here in Britain. I'm digging it. Ooh, I feel like I just spoke some form of blasphemy there. So uh, don't leave too much hate in the comments, but ketchup has been taking a back seat lately. Would we be able to have a uh, sticky toffee pudding ready? to put in the video? Okay, that would be great. Like I'm not to sound... Custard cream or ice cream? Ice cream. That would be amazing. I should say custard is a Wisconsin night, but no. We're gonna go for ice cream. And you wanna eat it straight away? Please. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds really good. 21 minutes. <laughs> I wanna show off the puddings here. There is always room for sticky toffee pudding, but uh, on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. The chips really are phenomenal here. I'm like getting really sick of chips slash fries, but these were phenomenal. What's been your favorite bit so far? Favorite thing on the plate? I love black pudding. I really do, and those were great. Final bit of chips though. Mm. And you haven't had an onion anymore. I haven't.
That might take the new number one spot because I love onion rings. The kitchen was betting on 28 for you. Yeah. How rude. Oh. Oh. Onion ring time. I approve. Right, where are we? 16 <laughs> minutes and five, six, seven seconds, and we've got one onion ring to go. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Come on. 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 <laughs> that was so good though. Kyle's that was so good. I had some crumbs, so I'm technically not done. But I didn't even burp. That is true. Hold on, it's coming though, sorry. <clears throat> Your wish is my command. Oh my goodness. Well, Kilo Grill, that was absolutely delicious. I have a dessert on the way, so 16 minutes and 34 seconds was my final time to finish that amazing Mega Mix Grill Challenge, which means that I do get the meal for free, I do get a groovy dessert, and I do get to put my name up on the wall of fame next to all the legends that you saw in my amazing iPhone B-roll. But a big thank you to you guys for watching. I'm going to get back to you with my prize sticky pudding, which I love. I love sticky toffee pudding. It is the best ever. So I'll catch you guys in just a few when it arrives. Thank you. That really was delicious. Ooh, okay, we have, it has arrived and it looks amazing. Ooh, and it's garnished with a strawberry. I need to start working on my English accent here without offending anyone. Let's start with a strawberry. Mm -hmm. Why, how would you say strawberry? Strawberry. <laughs> All right, let's try this with, you can also get it with, um, I guess a custard as well. I did mine with ice cream. So I'm sorry to all my fellow Wisconsinites that are all about frozen custard. Praise. This is just everything I imagined. All right, Kilo Crew, I'm not going to bore you with eating this entire thing on camera. So I am going to tell you guys that you need to get out here. You need to try this challenge because it's delicious. And if you don't want to try the challenge, just get out here to the Wentworth Arms and Old Malton because the people here are super friendly. So. A big thank you to Elaine and Steve and their daughters and everyone here with Wentworth Arms. Uh, the service here is amazing. The people here are amazing. There's even like a crew of people that come out here just to watch people take on this challenge. So they're in touch. But yeah, big thank you to you guys for watching. I'm going to finish enjoying the sticky toffee pudding, which is the best dessert of all time. Uh, like this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. We'll give you some bye. Hold, I got a choo-choo train that one.